I love zombies, okay? For me, they are like, like a fetish, but the kind of fetish that you don't mind talking in public about. I just like zombies. So I know there have been a lot of zombie stuff going on recently. It's games, television series, books, comic books, blah, 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 blah. But I did have to take a look at zombie side because it's got zombies and it also comes with the minis from Cool Mini or Not, which as you may or may not know, they are also the people who make the minis for Super Dungeon Explorer. So I am very curious to know how this game looks like inside, because it's not a particularly cheap game, but everybody's talking about it an awful lot. So although we are not going to take a look at the gameplay, we are just going to take a look at what's inside the box and if it's worth the money that you have to pay to get your hands on this game. Welcome to the GMS Magazine unboxing videos. I, I know, I like them an awful lot. So for me, this game, uh, it's a double whammy. A is zombies, B is cool, mini or not, which I was, as I was mentioning at the beginning, uh, they, they do fantastic minis. And it's a co-op game. <laughs> that you can play on your own. <laughs> Super exciting. So let's take a look inside, because I'm, I'm just gagging to see this thing going. Uh, yes, yes, I do get this excited about zombies and zombie games and zombie movies and um, anything zombies. I like zombies. Love the cover. The illustration is absolutely excellent. It doesn't hold its punches with its bloodiness and its goriness. And the people look badass enough to actually show that the characters are going to be really up for it. Uh, but also, on the other hand, it's uh, cartoonesque enough not to put off the general public and shops to be able to display the, the box in, in, on the shelves without the fear of being told off or having something that's inappropriate for children. Having said that, this game is for 13 years or older. So there you go. First thing, the rule book. It's a meaty rule book. Okay. Uh, it has an overload of pages in here. 27, in fact, and that is because it comes with 10 scenarios that, that you can play uh, with different objectives. Each one has special rules as well and different maps. Since I am a very big fan of that kind of games with, with tiles, uh, and I started becoming a fan of that when I first played When Darkness Comes. I thought it was brilliant. The layout is absolutely delightful. The game contents are easily displayed on the first page, which is very nice. Uh, the layout is, is simple enough. The font they have used is very easy to read. Everything has its own schematics to them as well, to make them that the whole thing becomes very identifiable. So, so far, so good. There are a fair amount of rules in here, so it might take you a little while to actually get to grips with the game. I would allow a little bit extra time for the first game or two to make sure that you know how the rules are meant to play. But I have the feeling that once you know, the game should be flowing quite, quite nicely and quite easily. The reviews have been quite uh, favorable so far. The tokens are lovely. The board is not incredibly thick. I've, I've seen thicker, but that's fine. <laughs> Double-sided. So you can have the police on the one side and the pimp car on the other side. 
um, which is it's great. I, I like it. I like that it's double sided. Okay, they're a little bit, just a little bit thin, but not thin enough to become a problem when you're playing. They're, they're actually thick enough. Um, they, they could be thicker, but they're thick enough. So this is not a complaint at all. It's just just an observation. I don't have any any issues with the tokens. A fair amount of them. The whole thing double sided. Good way to start. I like this. Deck of little cards. Let's open them for the sake of opening them. Oh. They're thinnish, and I mean they're right because they're small, so they don't suffer too much. But they have no plastic lamination, so be aware if you have dirty fingers, if you've been eating uh, chips or crisps or whatever it is that you eat, wherever it is that you live, um, make sure that your hands are, are clean, otherwise you could end up with nasty stains. It's a ton of cards, though. It's a huge amount of cards. Uh, the, the bag is great illustration. Different ones for each deck that you'll be using. Different colors. So, so far, so good. Dice, six sided dice. I'm not going to take them out of the bag because they're just dice. And, oh, okay, this is new. Little arrows. I don't know what they do. But I'll bet they do it marvelously. Little arrows, I presume they're just going to indicate the direction in which something is meant to be spawning or moving or going or affecting or whatever it is. Just arrows. In interesting token, though, in seriousness. This is I've never seen something like this before. So this is quite innovative, and I like that. Now, this game contains 71 minis that come in these cardboard boxes, I'm guessing. So let's take a proper look at them. Okay, interesting. Uh, two observations about this. A, I don't understand why this is so deep. I mean, it's nearly three inches deep, whereas the minis are barely one inch deep. So I don't understand why taking space in the box when you could have made something a little bit smaller, but it's still a lot to see, so maybe there is a reason for that. Right, quality, the abomination. And I know this is the abomination because it looks abominable. Like any other miniatures from Cool Mini or not, it's extremely well crafted. Fantastic amount of detail in the faces, the muscles, all the ornaments, all the spikes coming out, and it's actually quite sharp. Terrific quality. Love it. I really like it so, so much. Fantastic. The smaller ones, just as good quality. The level of detail is it's just tremendous. I mean, this guy, this little fellow here, He's wearing glasses. I don't know if the camera can, can fix this so much. He's wearing glasses. I think the eyes are inside the glasses. That's the level of detail that these minis have. That's incredible. That is really incredible. I mean, the whole thing is wonderful. The details in the, in the weapons is fantastic. The hair and the head. The whole thing is absolutely stunning. Very impressive. And it is exactly the same in the rest of the miniatures that we have in this box. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six minis for the players, I presume, plus the abomination. That's, that's just wonderful. But then, again, if you know anything about cool mini or not, that's what you would expect. Let's take this out. And let's open this box. Because this is what contains the bulk 
Oh, oh. Oh, das ist ein Wow. <lacht> wow. Okay. Okay. Wow. Right, I'm going to I'm going to put all the minis in here. I'll bring them back into the into the box. Several very very impressive things about this. Uh, to start with, not all the minis are the same. You, you, there are quite a few different models of minis, and that is very 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 impressive. It is impressive because the amount of production going into this and the cost of producing this game will have gone up quite a lot just to have this a number of miniatures and number of different minis that are coming here. That's wonderful. That is really wonderful because it means that the company has not compromised. In, in quality and in the diversity of the game for the sake of money. More minis in here, let's have to take a look at that. Even if that means going, means going over time. Here, apologies for the unceremonious opening of these. But I just have to take a look at that. The other good thing about this game is that if you're a painting freak, I'm not, you will have way of a time painting these things. My goodness. This is one of the best produced games in terms of minis I have seen so far. There's a hair in my box. It's a long blonde hair. If you've lost it, I, I'm going to keep it there. Let me know. I'll post it to you. Anyway, um, love it. Uh, I cannot say enough good things about these minis. They are wonderful. They are absolutely wonderful. I mean, look at, look at the fatso. Oh my god, look at that. He is scary as hell. Jesus, I want to play this game. <laughs> hey. Was he then there? No. Get away. Sorry. Nice. Cameras. What else in here? Right, these are the tiles. Not clear the board, but we have more than that. The tiles are big. I mean, each one of these is a tile. This is going to make a very, very big board, which I'm not going to complain. Right, these are the player cards. These are just cardboard. Um, th this is a little bit disappointing, I have to say. It's, it's not, don't get me wrong, it's not something that is going to make me hate the game or anything, but it would have been very nice to actually see these made into proper boards, um, like, like the tiles, which I will go in a second. The graphic design is excellent. The, the, the character is there. The card in reserve, the card in hands, everything is, is in the right place. And, and I like the vital signs. <laughs> as well, <laughs> which I presume is something to do with whether you survive or not. So I like I like it um, ginormously, I have to say. So you have Wanda, Doug, Phil, Josh, Amy. She's badass. I like Amy and Ned. Very aptly named, aptly chosen names, I have to say. They got to fit the characters and other tiles. Double sided, the artwork on this is absolutely beautiful. Wonderful attention to detail. That you can see these shells of from, from the wool from the from the bullets, the fruit rotting in the mall. 
a trash can with chips, sorry, fries, going out. <laughs> I look at that, the papers, the half-finished meal, the labels on the batteries. This is, this is incredible. This is incredible. Even if you look at the splashes, how they've been spread, the, this is just incredible. Oh my god, that's gross. I'm speechless. I am seriously speechless. This is excellent. Absolutely excellent. I mean, in terms of production value, this game gives any game out there, any any zombie game out there, the hell of a run for their money. There is absolutely no competition. Hands down, this wins every single time. Last day on Earth, any of the games from Twilight Creations, and they are good in terms of production. I'm sorry, but this wins hands down. Absolutely wonderful. If we pair that with the fact that it's a terrific game, because everybody says so, and therefore I'm going to believe it's a terrific game, my god, I'm glad about this. I am so, so happy about this. This is... Well, you don't want to keep hearing me say this is wonderful, so I'm going to shut up now, and I'm going to say once again, this is fantastic. Really, really well done, Gilotin Games. Fantastic.